Hi friends, today we are going to discuss about the branches of the subclave. In order for this purpose, I made a diagram on the whiteboard. So let's start. So first of all, this uh, we look here. So this is the, as we know that this is the brachiocephalic trunk, which gives rises two branches: the main common carotid artery and the subclavian artery. So I will discuss here. Uh, there is a muscle present over here. which is known as sclenius muscle sclenius muscle this is the sclenius muscle and the subclavian artery move from the middle portion of the sclenius muscles and move to the forward side so according to the position of the sclenius muscle the subclavian artery is divided into three main parts the first part the second part and the third region, third part. So according to the sclenius muscle, sclenius muscle, the artery, the subclavian artery is divided into three main parts. Before the subclavian, before the sclenius muscle, between the sclenius muscle, and after the sclenius muscle. And these three regions give rise different type of branches to the different parts of the body so we will discuss how much branches or how many branches each part give rise and what are the parts which are supplied by these branches so for this purpose i will erase This is the subclavian artery. This is the first portion which gives rise three branches. Number first, that is the vertebral artery. Number second to the downside, that is internal thoracic artery. And number third branch which give rise to that is thoraco cervical artery thoraco cervical trunk this thoraco cervical trunk give rise further branches this the one branch this is the second branch moving upward ascending branch this is the transverse branch and another branch this one is the fourth branch so this is the thoraco cervical trunk and this is the inferior thyroid artery this is the ascending cervical artery this is the transfer cervical artery and this is the suprascapular artery originating from the thyro cervical trunk the third the second portion that is between the sclenous muscle only give rise one branch and what is the name of the dead branch? It is called costo cervical trunk. And this costo cervical trunk gives rises further two branches. And this branch is known as costo cervical trunk. And the branch which are originating from the costo cervical trunk that is this one is superior intercostal branch and this one is deep cervical branch and the third position the third one which is providing only single branch that is called as dorsal scapular artery this is dorsal scapular artery so we can see that the first portion that is the subclavian artery Divide it first mainly into three branches, three parts. That is the first, that is the before sclenous muscle. Number second, that is between the sclenous muscles. And the third one is that is after the sclenous muscles. So according to the positions, they are also giving different branches according to their position. The first portion gives rise three branches. That is the vertebral artery, thoraco, 
the cervical artery, thoracocervical trunk, and this is the moving downward side, that is the anterior thoracic artery, and the second portion which gives rise only one branch, that is the costocervical trunk, and the third one also gives rise only a single branch, that is known as dorsal scapular branch. And the third of the, the, the thoracocervical trunk also gives rise to fourth main branches, this is inferior thyroid, inferior thyroid artery, this is the ascending cervical artery, transverse cervical artery and suprascapular artery and this that is costocervical trunk, costocervical artery or costocervical trunk give rises to main branches to other branches into which is known as intra superior intercostal muscles and deep cervical branch. So and this uh, is you know as this one is first rib. Why I made here the first rib? I made uh, here the first rib because before the first rib the subclavian artery is known as subclavian subclavian artery and after the first rib the subclavian artery moves downward toward the axillary, axillary side of the body so they are known as axillary arteries and the axillary artery has its own branches and its own locations its own positions like the uh, the subclavian artery so we uh, i'm going to write the name of these arteries according to their position then this one is internal thoracic artery internal thoracic as the name suggest thoracic artery internal thoracic artery as the name suggests that is thoracic mean the thorax mean the chest portion of the body so this is the artery moving downward and providing blood supply to the thorax region this is the vertebral artery vertebral Artery. The vertebral artery moves upward and toward the brain and provides blood supply to the different portion of the uh, different portion of the brain and form and help in the formation of circle of villus. And this is the the third one that is thyrocervical trunk. Thyro cervical trunk or thyrocervical branch this we call as costo cervical trunk costo cervical trunk in this call as dorsal scapular dorsal scapular artery so these are the arteries and this is ascending cervical artery transverse cervical artery inferior thyroid artery inferior thyroid artery and this is suprascapular artery suprascapular artery so it is easy to remember if you know the positions and the locations of the uh, arteries from where they are originating from the subclavian artery so it will be very easy to remember so I have made a mnemonics also for uh, these uh, these arteries so it will be helpful to you uh, to remember uh, all these arteries so I will raise it
So the mnemonics which I have made is vitamin vitamin Or you may simply say this vitamin, white man, vitamin. I missed A here for the convenience. Vitamin C and D. This is the mnemonics which you can remember, and it will be helpful to remember all these branches. So I will write the branches according to. All these names. Number first one that is vertebral artery. Vertebral artery. Number second internal internal thoracic artery. Thoracic artery. Number third, thyro cervical artery, cervical artery. Number fourth, C, that is costo cervical artery, artery. Number four, fifth, fifth, that is dorsal. Scapular artery. Scapular artery. So from here you can easily remember all these things. V for vertebral artery, I for internal thoracic artery, T for thyrocervical artery, C for costocervical artery, and D for dorsal scapular artery. It gives rise for the three branches and the costo cervical uh, artery give rise two branches so uh, this uh, this all about the uh, subclavian artery and their branches so you can easily remember all these things if you learned the uh, the mnemonic and also learn about the uh, cardiovascular system so thank you for watching the video